Hi, this is Ed for Revo Guitar Straps, and I'm going to talk to you about how to make the most out of your guitar exercises. Every guitar teacher has their series of go-to exercises to help improve muscle memory, finger strength, left and right hand coordination and synchronization, and a whole host of other benefits. I'm going to talk to you about a practice philosophy that I use myself, I teach it to my students, uh, I still use it for warm-ups, and it's a way to become more creative and get the most out of these exercises. Because they sometimes, can you can fall into a rut, they get kind of boring, you get tired of a, a metronome or a drum machine and just playing the same thing the same way. So we're going to mix it up. Now we need a place to start. In the article I outline 24 finger combinations. There are six combinations based on each finger. We're only going to look at the first finger pattern in that if you're interested in the other combinations, uh, please check out the article. Now, once you understand how to apply it to one finger combination, then you can incorporate it into anything. So it's really about understanding the concept behind the philosophy. Okay, so we're going to start with the one, two, three, four pattern where everybody begins. I'm going to begin at the fifth fret on the first string. And first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. And we're just going to repeat that on all six strings. This is exercise one. Okay, in, in exercise one, I did write, write that with all downstrokes in mind. There are, actually, there isn't any picking notation. The picking... In exercise two, I notated alternate picking. So when you're just getting used to this, you can use all downstrokes. But once you get that finger combination memorized and comfortable with it, then you can add alternate picking. So I'm going to start with a downstroke, followed by an upstroke, downstroke, upstroke. And we'll repeat that on all six strings. For exercise three, we're going to pick every other note and we're going to use hammer ons and pull offs to connect the unpicked notes. So, for example, I'm going to pick note one, hammer on to note two, pick note three, and hammer on to note four. This is exercise three. And I'm going to use downstrokes on the first and the third finger, hammer-ons on the second and fourth. Now notice how the shape of the line changes from to for exercise four. We're going to add the alternate picking. So I'm going to use a downstroke on the first finger, an upstroke on the third finger, hammer on to the second and fourth. Now I know we're only working on hammer ons here, but if you go through the other 24 patterns, or rather the other 23 patterns, you'll have equal time with hammer ons and pull offs, and you're going to find some of them quite challenging. Okay, so now we've applied a couple of ways of, of, of picking, hammering on and pulling off and, and, and playing this pattern, but that was mostly for right hand um, technique. For left hand technique, we can work on position shifting. So I'm going to play just on string sets one and two. I'm going to use the same pattern, and then I'm going to shift up one fret at a time. Again, you can use the hammer on the pull offs. You can move two frets at a time. Three frets. You get the idea. You can also skip strings, so I'm going to play the first and the third string.
basically your imagination is your only limitation. Whatever it is that you're trying to do, create an exercise out of it, and you can have fun with it. All right, guitar exercises don't have to be boring. They can be fun. So hopefully you enjoyed what I just shared with you. Thanks for hanging with me, and I'll see you next time.